Hey there everyone, this is Matt for Creative. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Beam, and Instagram. We also have a GoFundMe page set up. We appreciate all donations because we do rely on our own funds. Thank you very much. Now today, we're here with a pair of shoes. Now for me, I have my running shoes set up. I have the shoes that I use inside the house set up. But I've been really looking for a pair of good looking shoes that I can wear in more professional settings and maybe when I want to impress someone. So when the makers of this pair of shoes, they reached out to me, I thought, okay, this is a good time to try out a shoe that I most normally would not wear. But if it was made correctly, then I would definitely give it a chance. Now this is from Marcour, and the website is right here. That's www.themarcour.com. That's T h e m a r k h o r dot com and what we have today here is the sinosure wing tip it goes for 247 sorry 249 and they have about six variations of shoes that you could choose from again this is that website and if you want to take a look we'll be putting the link in the description below where you can get your pair here but we received this in the mail, and we're going to take a look at how this looks. Uh, now the box here, it's made solid. Very good for protecting the shoes inside. Unfortunately, when I received the box, it seems were broken here. But the shoes inside, they were in good condition. And what I really liked is that when you see the shoes for the first time, they look like they're packaged really, really well. This is a short letter they have here. You can pause and read that. Introducing you to the family. And when you actually get the shoes, you get some packing materials here and there. But you also get individual little bags that you can put these shoes in so it'll keep them clean. And of course it says the brand name right here on the tip. So let's get both of these out here. And let's make sure that we get everything out of the box. Now before we take a look at the shoes, here's something I didn't see before. This is the journal. This is in, love, in loving memory of Muhammad Hussein. His friendship made a huge difference in our lives, and to our 508 kickstart, Kickstarter backers, with love, we could have not done this without you, without your support and cheer. And there's a table of contents. This actually gives you a whole rundown about their, their story, which is very interesting. So again, you can pause and read that. I'm not going to be able to go through this entire thing right now, but... It's pretty interesting, there's pictures in it. Pictures are good. And it does interest me. So if you do want to know more about this, uh, just comment below and I'll find a way to post this so that you guys can look and read this. But now to the main point, it is the shoes. Now, one pair, it seems like it comes with a tie. As you can see here, you can tie that off and it seals the shoe off from any dust coming out. Now the other shoe, strangely enough, has an opening for that tie, but actually doesn't come with that tie. That seems to be something that was overlooked and that's a little bit disappointing considering you want both of these tied. But let's take a look at the shoes. Now I did choose the Sinoshore wingtip to review and this one does come in the brown color. This pair does come in three colors, brown, burgundy, and black. I thought brown is a good color for summer. Now what it has here inside is these little pieces to allow the shoe to keep its size or its shape. And it smells amazing. Brand new leather shoes are Leather materials and accessories are one of my favorite things in terms of scents. I'm not sure if I'm the only one who thinks that, but it's just something that's really close to me. All right, so here we have the shoe. As you can see here, there's the top. The laces here are light. You only get one pair of laces. 
want to make sure everything is in a good condition. Almost, almost flawless leather here, except for a small little scratch on the side. The other shoe has flawless leather, except for a scratch here. But when I say these tiny scratches, when I talk about these tiny scratches, they're just extremely minimal. But this is beautiful. All right, let's take a look at the sole of the shoe. Here you have a nice rubberized sole so you won't be slipping and sliding around. And you have this good leather hide sole, but it does have a texture on it here. Looks very beautiful. But again, three colors, brown, let's see if we can go, burgundy, and then finally, black. Now, wingtips are my favorite style of shoe. It may not be yours, but again, they do have different variations you can always try. Um, in terms of size, they don't have any half sizes. Um, for me, I was able to go, well, here they have US size 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and that's it. And then, of course, there are the UK sizes and European sizes. So if you need half sizes, you're going to have to figure out how to deal with these. So let's try them on. Now in terms of more formal shoes, you have to get one that fits just right. For me, I usually wear a nine and a half to a 10 in a running shoe, but of course you want that to be nice and tight so that it doesn't loosen up in any, or it, in any way. Now if you have something that tight in a formal shoe, that's just gonna be an extreme pain while walking around and just doing your day-to-day -day activities. So let's see exactly how this fits. Now, for reference, this is a U.S. men's size 10. And the socks that I'm wearing currently are medium thickness. I do have a thinner, more formal sock that I usually wear. But these ones, these are the socks that I use for actually most of my activities, whether it be running or whatever. So it sits in there nicely. Let's see how tying this down where you can only see the laces works. All right, as we put on the other one here, let's talk about the fit of the right shoe. Um, in some cases, uh, some formal shoes do tend to aggravate my ankle and that is something that I've seen other people have to deal with as well and when I talk about that I talk about this right here so if this is too high it'll start to agitate this bone in this case I really don't feel it which is really really good so this is low enough where it's not really going to agitate you as you walk around or do your activities Now again, I just have to talk about the look as I'm putting this shoe on. It looks really nice. And the way it's catching the lights here in the room, I really appreciate how that does look. Now in terms of brown, it is probably a medium shade of brown. It would be okay during the summer, but of course if you're a fashionista, you know you have to go for a lighter shade of brown during the summer. But this would be acceptable for this time of year. All right, so we have the shoes on. I'm gonna step and see how they feel. There is good support in the back. Um, this being a size 10 and not being able to go half sizes, it really does feel nice. You can take a look here on the side and it does feel nice. When making contact with wood, there's no slipping or sliding, which may happen in some cases with some other nice shoes. But because of that rubber sole here in the back and the texturing in the front, you're not sliding anywhere. So the security is great, and I really compliment them for that. I think the shoes look nice. I think they feel nice.
and I think this is something that people should definitely give a try out to. Again, the website's going to be in the description of this video if you want to take a look. And again, they do have six variations on shoes and open-toed shoe options. But thank you so much for watching. This has been Matt for Creative. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Beam, and Instagram. We also have a GoFundMe page set up. We appreciate all donations because we do rely on our own funds. Thank you very much. All right, I'll see you guys next time.